So now we look at two assert methods that try provides to test if two values are equal using the JavaScript loose equality or equals equals operator. So um, let's say we have an actual value here and I'll set this actual value to something like um, uh, two. So this is the actual value we got back from a function or something that we want to test. And the expected value is one. So we want to test if that's equal to one. So one is the goal here. So if we have this Boolean here, comparison, which basically does actual equal equal expected. So it uses the loose equality operator to check if these two are the same. And then we log, we can log the comparison. So if I run this now, we can see that the comparison returns false because two is not equal to one. So the way that the equal method works is um, it'll check if it'll do this equals equals comparison and if it's true this test will pass. So let's have a look at how you use this. So the, it takes in three arguments rather than two and the first argument is the actual value. So this is what gets returned from a function or like just the value that we want to give to test and I'm going to give it this actual variable here. The second argument is the expected. So this is what you want to test it against. So you want to test if the actual value is equal to this, or this is our desired value. So I'll put the expected here. Finally, we once again have an error message for the when this fails, and we can say something like actual was not equal to expected. So if I run this now, um, we can see that the test fails and that's because when we did the equals equals here this returned false so because this um, equals equals operator returns false this test will fail um, let's try uh, something else so the way we can do this actually is um, we can put some we can change this to one here and now if we um, run this oops if we run this test again we can see that this comparison has returned true so um, actual equal equal expected returned true. Therefore, this equals method will pass because if this returns true, this method will pass. And we've verified that one is equal to one indeed. Um, something interesting that we can do is if we put this one in a string like this and we run this, oops, oops, um, there we go. Uh, we can see that the comparison actually returns true despite these being different types. And that's because when you use the equals equals or the loose equality, um, and you don't use the strict equality, which is a three equals, um, this string right here, it'll look at what this type is for this expected, and we can see the number. So it'll convert the string into a number and then compare it. So comparison will take place. And therefore it returns true because once a string has been passed into a number, it'll be one, and this one will equal the expected value of one. And once again, because this Boolean returned true, this equal method passed. Now, another thing we can do is um, we can say something like, Let's say for expected, we want it to be equal to this object with the name of Bob. And um, for the actual, we also make it an object with the name of Bob. So what do you think will happen here? Let's have a look. So if we run this, we can see that the Boolean actually returned false. And that's because even though these objects have exactly the same data in them, they're actually two separate things completely. They're kind of clones of each other and they're in different spaces in the memory. So they're not actually the same. This equals equals will um, only return true if they're pointing to the same thing. But these objects are two separate things and they're different addresses in memory. So this won't be true. And because this equals equals isn't true, once again, this test fails. But if we say something like actual equals expected, what this will do is this object still exists and this actual here points to this expected which then points to the same object right here. So if I run this test again, um, actually one second, I just need to move this over here because this expected was declared before the actual. If I try this again, sorry, it's because this we forgot to declare this first. If we run it now, we can see that this is true because this um, actual will point to this expected and this expected points to this object in memory. And therefore, they're pointing to the same thing. So the equals equals will return true. And therefore, this equal method will also return true. Now, the opposite of this equal method is the uh, not equal method. And this, uh, this basically means that um, they were equal. So if this fails, they were equal. 
and this method will test that this boolean returns false. So if we run this now, we can see that the boolean still returns true, but because the boolean doesn't return false, this test fails because this test checks if this boolean returns false. Okay, so um, another way we can um, make this fail is once again if we just have two ex two values that are the same. So if both of these end up being one, for example, once again they're the same. So we can see it fails. Um, what if we change this once again to let's say name Charlie like this, and these are all this, these are both the same object. Well, they're not the same object, but they're they have identical data. Once again, this will return false because they, they're actually separate objects that just happen to have the same data at separate points in memory. So because expected and actual aren't pointing to the same thing, this returns false. And because this returns false, we can see that this test passes. So let's have a look at the challenge now. And um, so once again, it's in unit test.js and we have um, a certain try declared right here. So our goal is to make all of these tests pass and we have um, for each of them we have an actual input that's right here. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, the actual input that's first and then we have the expected so what we want to check if it equals to and um, we can either use equal or not equal method. So we have to give these to either the equal or not equal method to make them pass. So the first one we're trying to get this um, if we look at the expected value, we're trying to get this to equal to the string 12, and we have the number 12 here. And we know that if we use the equals equals, this will get converted into a string, and then this string of 12 will equal the string of 12. So we know that the equals equals will return true here. And therefore, if we want to pass, we can give this to the equal method, because the equal method will pass when the equals equals is true. Now we have these two objects here, and they have the exact same data, but like I said, there's two separate objects in memory. So they're not pointing to the same area. Or they're not saying pointing to the same thing. They're just clones. So we know that if we give these to equals equals, it will fail. So we know that we should be giving this to the not equal because equals equals will return false. And therefore, if we give that to not equal, it'll pass. The next one we have is we're trying to equal the string 12 here again and we have six times and then the string of two. So what happens here is actually this two will get converted um, into a number so that it can be multiplied with the six and then that will be equal to the number 12 and then when we compare that so obviously the math happens first before the comparison. Um, and then when we compare it, this 12 will get put back into a string here just so that it, it can be compared to this string and the equals equals will return true. So here we want to give it to the equal method because we want to ensure a pass. Um, finally, we have six plus and then this string of two. And um, this, meth this test right here, um, it puts, what it'll do is, It'll put because we have it'll put this two into a number, and then it will add it to the six. So we have eight here as a number, and then this eight will get converted into a string and compared to the string that contains twelve. And because this string has the character eight in it, and this string has the character one and two in it, this will fail because these strings are not equal to each other. And because this equals equals returns false here, we want to give it to not equal to run the tests. So if we save that now and share the live app link, I'm not too sure about this one again. So we'll see what happens. So if I run this test now, um, fingers crossed, test timed out. One second. I'm just going to check the solutions here. So all the tests have passed, but the all tests have passed has failed. So I have absolutely no idea what's happened here. Um, I'm going to try it again. Okay, there we go. So it's worked. It was just having issues before. I was about to look at the solution there, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, those are the correct answers here. So you can submit that and then it'll pass the tests.